Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical reports. And so far we developed two full flash program of classical report. In the first program, we only used order header table to display the output. In the second program, we used both order header table and order item table to display the output. Now, many times people ask the question, yes, in the second program, we have written two queries. One query to fetch data from order header table, one query to fetch data from order item table. Then we merge these two internal table into one final internal table and we display the output. Rather than these two queries, can we write a single query and in that query, we can fetch data from both the tables? Yes, that is also possible. That is called as join. Now, in this program, what is our target? We will learn join. Rather than writing two individual queries, we will write a single query to fetch the data from multiple tables. But the most important part, part is, yes, you should prefer for all entries in or you should prefer join. It depends upon the database. In the future, we have a topic best performance practices. At that time, we will come on to the conclusion that if you have this database, you have to use for all entries in. If you have this database, you can go for the join simply. So yes, it depends upon the databases, but we should know both the things, how we can go for join also, or how we can use for all entries in to fetch the data. We'll cover both the things, but in the future, I will come to the conclusion also that, that you have to prefer join or you have to go for for all entries in. But at this point of time, we will learn join also. So what I will do, I will create a program. I will go to SC38 transaction code. Same to same program. Now we will go for join. This is our fifth program classical report will write underscore join. I will go for create. I will give the title to the program to display the order details from order header and order item table. You can join any number of tables. In our current scenario, we have two tables, order header, order item. I will choose the type as executable program. I will save it as a local object. Same to same requirement. We have a range of order number multiple values of order number. So we will take a select option. I will give some name to the select option. Suppose I am saying S underscore O N O. The keyword is four. I will write L V underscore O N O and I am putting dot. I will declare LV underscore O N O type. I will pass the data element of order number. This is a repetitive learning. So many times we are doing the same to same things. I will check the syntax and activate. This variable is of numeric 10. This variable we are using for select option. So select option is numeric 10. And whenever I will run the program, end user will not understand S underscore O and no. So I will provide the selection text. Go to 
text element selection text. I will choose the dictionary reference and I will activate. And you can see order number came automatically. It came from data element. So our input is ready. Now we will go for next part. Now we are not going for now multiple internal tables now because we are not going for single single query. We are only going for one single query. In that single query itself, we will fetch data from order header table also from order item table also. It means I only require how many internal table? I only require one internal table of how many column? Six columns. If I require an internal table of six column, it means I will create a structure of how many columns? Six columns. So firstly, I will create structure. I will use which statement? Types. Begin of. Suppose I will write LTY underscore final. Four columns are from which table? Header table. Two columns from item table. Now I will write. I told you, but the best practice, open the table and copy paste from there itself. So I will open both the tables and we will copy paste one by one. Header table. What is first column? Order number. Data element of order number. What is second column? Order date. Type. Data element of order date. Payment mode. Type. Data element of payment mode. And what is fourth column? Currency. Data element of currency. Fifth other two columns are from item table. Order item number. Type. Data element of order item number. Item cost type data element of item cost end of I will end the structure now I will declare the internal table and work areas data internal table the keyword is always type table of if you are using a structure type. Now we will declare the work area also. Suppose I will write LT final. Just for the better understanding. Control D, you know it's a shortcut to duplicate a line. LWA final. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Sorry, this is LTY underscore find. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the program. So, so far what we did in the program, rather than writing the individual queries to fetch data, we will write a single query. We will write a join to fetch data from both the tables together. So for that purpose, we are not going for individual internal tables. We have only one single internal table, which has six columns. Now we will write a query. Now you will again learn a new open SQL query. Yes, open SQL query, because this is database independent. So far, you already studied how two types of open SQL query one simple open SQL query and one another open SQL query in which we fetch data from the table using for all entries in. So you already learned.
two versions of open sql query now we will learn third type of open sql query so we will start with that what is first keyword select now after select you are fetching data of how many columns we are fetching data of six columns what is first column o n o what is second column o date what is third column payment mode currency order item number and item cost in one single query itself we are fetching data of how many column we are fetching data of six columns now we will go for from from now you are fetching data from how many tables you are fetching data from two tables so i will write from but the name of first table this is the name of first table order header table this is item table i will open the header table also because we are not going for multiple queries in the one query itself we are using both the tables from order header table now we have a keyword join join it is a keyword we are joining this table with which particular table order item table so what we did so far we put used a select keyword we are selecting the data of how many columns six columns and we are selecting the data of six columns from how many table two tables so we have written from first table join second table so rest part of this particular join we will continue in the next video so that's it in this video thank you